Hello everyone, my name is Kureshi Ahmed. I am from Mumbai. I would like to show you my project, which is an e-commerce website. For developing it, I have used HTML5, CSS3, Bootstrap, Angular.js as a frontend, Java programming language, Spring, Hibernate frameworks, and for the backend, I have used H2 database. So my server is running. So we will just put the address into the URL. For using this website, I require three users. One will be the admin and other two will be customers. So we will first go to the admin and log in for it. So I have an admin page. So this is the home page for everyone. So you can see there are some products in my database. This is the carousal. And this is a navigation bar with some things to view all products or to view all to view categories. There are currently three categories in the database. So when you click sofa, the product with the category sofa has came. So we'll just log in for the admin. So we will click login. So I have admin. So I have successfully logged in for the admin. The job of the admin is to manage the product supplier and category he can add a product delete a product or update any of the product and similarly the task for the category as well as supplier so now we will go and log in for the our users so i currently i don't have any user so i need to register them So first we will register Rakesh for the as the first user and we will give a provide num a number mail password as I will give a confirm password Fine, I have to give the same password. Okay, sign up. So you can see that Rakesh has successfully signed up to the website. So now we will sign up Sunil. Our second customer will be Sunil. So provide a number mail give a password and password should be eight or more than eight characters so sign up so Sunil has also registered for the website so we will log in, we will log in for him so now he has logged in for the to his account where he can view all of the products he can view the products according to category he has a search bar to search any of the product he has his cart or lookout so first we will see so first we will log in for the Rakesh also so Rakesh has also logged in to his account both of them have the same options so first we will view the card of the Rakesh you can see there are no products in card of Rakesh and for the Sunil there are also no products for the Sunil so, so Sunil can view all of the products and add them to the cart and as well as he can view by the category So we will just go to the admin part and we will add, first add a category. See currently there are three categories in our database. So you can see that there are three categories. So we will add an, an another category named curtains.
we will not upload any photo so you can see that on the row number four we have a cotton category so now we will when we will navigate to this thing so the users will are able to now see the curtain category present to them okay so now the other user rakesh so when he goes to category and he goes to clicks curtains now there are no products in the curtain category so our next job is next job of our admin is to add the products to the curtain category so we'll just go to the product page and just click on add product so you can see that there are seven products now and here is the count of seven products so he can add another product so we'll add a curtain one product and will belong to curtain category belongs to robert supplier we will give a price units available to this is a curtain so we will upload it we will add it oh Hibernate validation has told us that we have to enter the product size more than the 500 so we will just upload a photo for it also so we'll choose a curtain product photo we will upload this one so there is a product added to the cart so now you can see that a product on the row number 8 is been added so now we have we need to add another product with the same category so we'll just go and add a curtain category product it belongs to the curtain category for the different supplier and we have to keep the product price more than 500 okay so product unit will be i'll give it one so i will give it description i will choose a file and upload a file and this file uploading is done by the multi-part file upload so we will add the product so that is the message saying that added product curtain 2 on the row number 9 when we go to the row number 9 there is a curtain 2 product added with the quantity 1 with the supply show head, category curtains, description, a name and a photo and there is a product count there are total 9 products okay so when, we, when the users so you can see that there are no not any products in the curtain category but now when the users go and click on the curtain category there are two category two products now are present so these are the products we have add, we have added right now so they can add it to cart so you can see that the product curtain 2 is added successfully to the cart and you can see that there is a status one available from the database this is from the database this all information is from the database so the show here is the supplier and you can see that there is a view similar tab for which shows that the product is similar to this one so um, sunil has added one product to the, his cart and you can see that there is one product available so we will add another one more product to his cart so which will be from the cotton cotton category so we add this product so you can see that this product cannot be added anymore to the cart because Sunil has added this product so and it its availability is only one so he can't add one more product to his cart because he will not be de deliver two products at a time so we will go to the curtain category add in another product so now we can see that he has added two products to the cart so when he go to the cart he can see there are two products present so now for the rakesh also we will do the same job okay so if we go to curtain category currently we will concentrate on, concentrate on these two curtain products as we have added right, right now so he, had, he has also added the same product to the cart he can also update the product but 
we will add another product to the cart. So you can see that this product is also successfully added to the cart. Now, if the Rakesh wants this product more, so he can have simply update the quantity. But for the message that as this product is available is only one and uh, Rakesh is trying to buy two products so the website is not allowing him to buy two products okay so if we try this product to increase the quantity so he is allowed to increase the quantity for this product but if he tries for three again it will be denied okay so both of them can check out this is Rakesh this is Sunil so one of the customer can check out from for their account but you can see that the curtain 2 product is only one available so one of them should be able to buy and the other should not be able to buy because there is a cap product only one so it should not be delivered to both of them so we will just check out for the Sunil Rakesh and this is why the spring web flow so we will fill a address for shipping address you click save we are forwarded to the billing address page okay so we will put, put here also Okay, we'll put a valid zip code. This is through the Ivanet validation. We'll put a card number, month, year. So we'll click just check out. So, what should happen as the Rakesh is buying two products, his, his card should be become empty and he should be given a message that so now friends when i click on the checkout the check it should check out the rakesh card so when he check out he will get a order confirmation message and you can see that the card is being emptied so when the rakesh navigate to his card he can see, you can see that there are no products in the cart. So when he navigates to view history, you can see that there are two products which we, which are to be delivered. To Rakesh has come came here in the history panel, but for the cart they have been removed. So similarly for the for Tunil, we will do the same thing. But there is a twist. As this product was delivered to Rakesh, this product should not be available to the Sunil. So when he refreshed his pages, so you can see that. So you can see that both of the product are now removed from the cart because both of them. So we will just available. Both of them are available zero. As Rakesh has bought or both of the products. Now no product is available for him. So the admin will manage him to do the same task. So you can, on the product page, you when the admin navigates to the product page, he can see that both of the product are now became zero because Rakesh has bought both of both of them. And now Sunil is not able to buy any of them because the product quantity available is zero and he is not so now he is not able to buy any of the product so if the admin updates the product and make it make it fun so now you can see that one curtain per curtain two product is now available for buying so when Sunil refresh his page 
you can see that one product is now available with the curtain one but this price is not considered because this is not available so he can check out for this product and automatically this will not be considered by the thing so we will just check out so we will fill the billing address click enter so we should give given the same so this is then about a completion so we'll check out so you can see that Sunil has bought the product but you can see that there is now also one product in his cart so when he click see that this the product with the available product zero quantity is too low so he cannot buy this product if he tries to update this quantity to two he would be denied but if the admin make this product to be available to all of the customers so now when Sunil goes to his card you can see that there is a one product so he can buy now he can make two update quantity the quantity will be updated and he can now buy two products which is the price so we will just search for the price price of cotton one what's the real price of cotton one so now for the by the search result we will get that what's the price of one cotton product so it is the same price but in the cart as the quantity is two the cart price has increased so Sunil can buy another product also or can add another product products to cart. He can view his cart and similarly he can check out for the same. So that's all friends. This was my whole project. And one thing also you can see that the latest products are now this all. You can see a uh, add to cart for the customers, but when the user navigates through the view, he only has the added product option. As the admin is not allowed to buy any product or add to cart any product, so he is not given the option to add to cart. So for that to cart, so we will log out for the admin. Now we successfully log out for the admin. We will log out for the Sunil. He has also successfully logged out. We will log out for Akesh. Now, when they go to home, the session is maintained and they are no longer logged in. So, when if anyone search for curtain one, they will get the result, but they are not logged in. And you can see that if I search for bed, there's a bed products, sofa, tables. So that's all, friends. Thank you.